Okay, so last video we looked at indicator species. I'm going to finish off the topic now by looking at intensive farming. Now, intensive farming, we'll split this up into two main sections. Talk about plants, and then we're going to talk about animals as well. Now, in terms of plants, this idea of intensive, farm, intensive farming, I'll read you a, a definition. Intensive farming is an agricultural intensification and mechanization system that aims to maximize yields from available land through various means, such as heavy use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. So you can see what farmers are doing is they're trying to increase their crop yield. The crop yield is basically the amount of crop that you can then sell. So this is all about money. And to do so, what they'll do is they'll use fertilizers. Now, fertilizers can either be natural fertilizers like manure, basically cow or horse poop, or they could be chemical fertilizers, which are manufacturers, manufactured in factories and labs. Now, the one thing they have all in common is they have high levels of N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, three quite essential nutrients for plant growth. We talked about nitrates when we talked, looked at the eutrophication video and the problems that causes. So more nutrients, more plant growth, bigger yield, more money. Now they'll also use pesticides and again in the last video um, we talked about water pollution, uh, we talked about DDT. So pesticides are being used to kill off insects on the crop that in itself can cause problems, especially if it gets washed into rivers and lakes. They may also use herbicides. So pesticides kill off insects, herbicides kill off plants. So your typical weed killers that you can get in spray bottles to kill off weeds in the garden. They contain a lot of chemicals that again can be quite dangerous to other plants. So, you, so they may damage other plants in the, in the area, not just the weeds that you're trying to kill. So farmers, will utilize all of these. They'll utilize fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides to try to get the maximum yield from their crop to get more money. Now, in terms of animals, um, fishing have been exploited. So this is called over exploitation. So over the years, the people have just fished too many, and then the um, population of fish actually plummeted and then guidelines had to be introduced to limit the amount of fish that could actually be caught. Certain size fish, certain uh, quotas were given. So f uh, fishermen had what's called a quota. So they couldn't go above that quota. They'd have to register and log everything they caught. Cattle. Uh, cattle are very exploited in the sense that they're given certain hormones they're given lots of antibiotics to keep them healthy. Uh, they're given limited space, especially in these cattle sheds where they're just overexploited just for milk or meat. Battery farm chickens, again, they've got limited space. They're normally kept indoors. Um, limited movement, all designed really so that they don't waste energy. So all the energy goes into producing the, the meat or the eggs. Of course, now we, we get things like um, free range where the chickens and the cattle can actually roam and exercise. Now, Plants and animals can both be genetically modified, GM. So they can be modified to grow faster, to grow healthier. Um, and again, some people don't like this. So we have these, these GM-free uh, foods like honeys where there's no genetic modification involved. So that's intensive farming of plants and also of animals. Thank you.